Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be taking a look at how to expand binomials. All right, so the question reads, the expression m minus 3 squared is equivalent to, so we have four options here. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's talk about the idea of equivalent expressions. What, what on earth does that mean? Let's refresh our memory real quick. So just a real quick reminder, which is as follows, equivalent expressions, equivalent expressions are expressions that are identical when written in the same form when written in the same form that's the key right there okay is you're looking at the form of the expressions all right in order to compare them you must write them in the same form so what forms are we looking at in this question these options one to four these are known as the expanded forms of a quadratic okay the problem the problem expression the expression in the problem is known as the factored form all right so in order to be able to answer this question we must either factor all these options here or expand this option right here so that they're in the same form all right so the fastest way to do this would be just simply expand the expression m minus 3 square basically converting it from uh, factored to expanded and then compare it with these four and see which one it matches okay all right so um there's something that you want to keep in mind a big mistake that many people make when they are expanding binomials which is um how to find the powers of binomials and also how the power distributes when you have some difference product and quotient of terms all right so this is a big big caution to uh, keep in mind which is that you do not ever 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 you do not distribute you do not distribute the power distribute the power across sums and uh, sums or differences only across uh, products or quotients all right so this is a property of exponents that most people get confused so for example if you have the sum of two terms a plus b and you have it squared do not distribute this power across both so a plus b square is not equal to a square plus b square this is wrong 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 okay and also if you have a difference like what we have in this problem a minus b square do not be tempted to distribute this power across the difference a square minus b square is not equal to a square minus b square no 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 but if you have a product a times b square you can distribute right the product property of exponents um the, the power of a product property this one you can distribute to a square b square this is good check and then if you have a quotient also it's fine you could distribute the power across the numerator and the denominator so the big mistake that most students make is they extend the idea for these two to sums and differences and they get the problem wrong so like this one they'll say oh, okay i'll just distribute this to this and it's going to be m squared minus nine and they get the answer wrong okay all right so let's go ahead and go over this problem we're going to expand it in multiple ways so that you can pick whichever one you like. All right, so let's start with the uh, FOIL method, which is pretty um, 
straightforward. So the goal here is we want to expand n minus 3 square. Okay? So using the FOIL method, you might wonder how does FOIL apply to this? n minus 3 square just basically means that you're multiplying m minus 3 twice. All right? Bam. All right, so the FOIL method, you go first outer inner last you can always use the full method when you're multiplying two binomials all right so when you multiply the first m times m is m square outer m times negative three is negative three m inner negative three times m is negative three m last plus three times plus three is plus nine. Oh, the middle terms are like terms identical degrees like variables so that's going to be m square minus 6m plus 9. Bam! The answer is option let number 3. Okay? So that's it. Alright, let's take a look at another method of doing this. It's called, this is called the box method. Alright? Box method. Some students like this. Now, the box method it's okay for this. I like using the box method where you're raising, when you're um, dealing with um, higher degree polynomials, right? So let's say you're multiplying a cubic trinomial with a quadric with four terms. If you use a box method, it's, it's amazing. Um, so the box method has its uses. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. So as the name indicates, you just make a box. This is a multiplication grid. That's what this is, all right? So you populate the top row and the left column with the two uh, polynomial expressions that you are multiplying. So we already talked about this. We're looking at m squared, which is m minus 3 times m minus 3. Okay, so you put the first factor on the top, m minus 3, and then this, you align the second um, factor vertically to the right to the left sorry m minus 3 and I just multiply okay so m times m is m square m times negative 3 is negative 3 m m times negative 3 is negative 3 m and negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 okay so look for um, identical terms to combine if you look at this diagonal right here negative 3 m and negative 3 m are identical so you combine those two so your answer is going to be m square the terms inside your multiplication grid. Minus 3 and minus 3, add them together, negative 6m plus 9. You can see that our answers are exactly the same. The power of the box method is that it helps keep your factors nicely organized. Okay? And then the last method is very similar to fall, is known as the vertical method. The vertical method is very similar to the box method in the sense that it helps keep your factors organized when you're dealing with um, polynomials of higher degree with multiple terms in higher level math vertical multiplication or box method are invaluable they, they're really helpful because you have so many terms and if you're not organized you will get the answer wrong all right so for the vertical method, you just basically stack your factors on top of each other. Preferably put the one with the higher degree and more uh, with a higher degree on top, and then put the lower degree uh, expression on the bottom. Okay, just like regular multiplication. So this pattern follows the procedure of multi multiplying multiple digits. Imagine this first column, like your ones column. This is the constants column, and this is the first degree column. All right, so you stack it based on identical degrees. If you have mismatching degrees, you just put it in a placeholder and uh, make it work. All right, so let's multiply. You go negative 3 times negative 3. That's a constant. Put it right here, negative 9. Negative 3 times m is negative 3m. Okay, and then m times negative 3, you put it right here. Bam, and then m times m is m squared. See how nicely organized it is? You might not see the beauty here, but when you have more terms, like three, four terms, it's it's amazing to, to see. 
All right, and then uh, just as you do with regular multiplication, after multiplying the fact the terms, you just add it downwards. And when you add it downwards, you're gonna have m squared minus six m minus. Oh, I'm, I made a mistake here. So negative three times negative three is positive nine. Sorry. All right, plus nine. Bam. All right, and there goes your final answer. You can see that they all match. So the answer is m squared minus six m plus nine. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Don't forget to support our channel. You can uh, let us know what you think about this presentation. If you have any questions, comments, or you want to let us know how your day is going, just specify it in the comment section below. Um, and you can visit our website, notgoodserve.com, or the links in the description below for tons of support resources. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.